In lieu of nearly $48 million in projected GovGuam revenue loss, charter schools across the island are now being asked to submit action plans to cope with the impending fiscal shortfall. Here's more. Yesterday, the Guam Academy Charter School Council approved the fiscal year 19 budget proposals for three charter schools with one conditional approval. In addition, the council approved the following student enrollment caps for academic year 2018 through 2019. For Guahan Academy Charter School, the enrollment is capped to 873 students. For iLearn, the cap is set to 620. CIFA Academy was capped at 350 and Career Tech Academy was conditionally approved for 200 students. Viewers may recall that local funding caps student enrollment for GAC at 740 and iLearn at 500, but according to Council Chairwoman Amanda Bloss, enrollment does not officially begin for most charters until October, meaning if charters cannot find additional funding for the student surplus, they have the ability to waitlist students. And in lieu of the government-wide revenue loss from the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, 17, agencies are being tasked to cut spending as early as this fiscal year. With this in mind, the Charter Council has spent additional work sessions and held special meetings to work with the individual charter schools on their budget proposal. At present, the charter school's funding is tied to the appropriation of the Department of Education. DOE has already been asked to identify $19 million worth of budget cuts for this year alone. And next year, about $27 million will need to be slashed from their overall budget. With this financial climate looming over GDOE, every expenditure is bound to face an added level of scrutiny. Guahan Academy Charter School in particular has had to address controversial expenditures, namely their $10,000 board retreat last spring held at the Dusitani Resort. A risk assessment from DOE identified over $4,000 in unvalidated invoices. And when pressed for comment, GAX Board Chairwoman Faye Avalos assured Council Chairwoman Bloss at a special work session that GAX would do everything in their power to work with a bare-bones budget. And GAX would not be alone in this regard. According to Council Chairwoman Bloss, each charter has been asked to submit an action plan to address the current financial climate. That plan is due by close of business this evening. Reporting for PNC News, I'm Rebecca Elmore. You can read more online at thepacificnewscenter.com.